Hello and welcome to the TH Decor ATL YouTube channel. Today we're going to make this really cool patina rusty flower pot using um, some products that I really like. The um, Amazing Casting Resin, the Finibear Art Alchemy Patina Effects, and some copper paint, and the Redesign with Prima Molds. So the first thing we'll, we'll do is we'll use these molds. This is the Divine Floral. It's a newer release from Prima. And we're going to use the Amazing Casting Resin. It's a white resin. We'll use Weldbound Glue to glue it on. And then we'll use this uh, Paint Couture copper colored uh, metallic paint. Finally, we'll use the Patina uh, Effects set from Finibear. You can find most of these products on my website, thdecoratl.com. Um, I've sped up the video a little bit. You know, some, some of this is like watching paint dry. Um, so I didn't want to bore you with, you know, every single step of the, the process. But I think, uh, you know, what you'll walk away with is an overall um, good understanding of how to, how to do this project. So whenever I do uh, resin, I always use gloves to avoid getting it on your hands. And this resin is actually a two-part um, white casting resin. And so you mix it in equal amounts. And um, not as important, you know, on, as it is on some uh, other clear resins that dry overnight. On this one, it's important to get them um, equally uh, measured, but not, you know, it's not rocket science, so don't stress too badly. Start it for 10 seconds, and you're going to pour it into your mold pretty carefully. You know, you want to um, take the cup and, and just start tilting it just until the product starts coming out and fill those molds. This can be a little bit tedious. Um, and you don't have that long before the product starts to set up. It'll take, you know, it'll take about, you maybe have one to two minutes of working time. So you need to kind of work quickly, otherwise it'll start to turn to goop in your measuring cup. Um, so you can see I'm just pouring slowly. My hand is blocking how slow it's going in there, but you can see as I move the hand away, um, you know, how much it's filling up. Again, this video is sped up, so I'm not working as quickly as it's being shown here. So don't feel like you have to work like that quickly, but um, it will start to dry pretty fast. So I always, I never like to waste uh, resin when I have it mixed. So I have some left over. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start pouring a little bit extra into this other new mold called Fragrant Roses, which is a really pretty mold as well. And you can see I'm starting to get a little bit gloppy here, so. So this will take about 10 minutes to harden and um, once it's done, we'll just peel it out. So now you can see it's all white, it's fully hardened and we're just gonna go ahead and, and take that out. So I've sped this one up also a little bit more. Uh, there's, you know, this isn't rocket science either. <laughs> Uh, all you're doing here is I'm, I'm trimming off some of the excess. I had a little bit of over um, spilled off the edges, so I'm just trimming that up. And then I'm going to glue it onto my flower pot. And you, you want to do this before you actually paint anything. You want to um, get, get your molds glued on first before painting. That way they're nice and secure and when you paint it looks like it looks like it's always been there so I like weld bond glue I like this product a lot 
Um, this is a small bottle. Uh, I do carry it on my website as well. And So we're just gonna glue that on and we will let that dry. And you place the other one where, where you want it to go. We'll let that dry as well. So you can place these wherever you like. Um, each one is gonna be different and we have a lot of different options when it comes to the molds. I happen to really like this cherim. I have a lot of them in stock as well. <clears throat> I think he's super cute. Good for this particular project because when, you know, when haven't you seen a little angel with some really beautiful patina on it? So you might have to hold it in place a little bit, um, which is what I did. <clears throat> and then give it probably 20, 30 minutes before you start your next step, which is going to be painting. My son likes to hand me things and show me things when I'm filming. He just wants to be involved. He's a little cutie. All right, so we've got our swag on, and we're going to press that down. All right. So now I'm going to paint this guy. I'm going to paint it. This is Paint Couture Paint. It's in copper. And there are probably uh, eight different types of or eight different colors of this I've got silver gold uh, black of course this beautiful copper color just really pretty metallic paints another one that I really like is called bright white that's really pretty so I'm painting the whole thing with a um, a smaller kind of fine brush and I'm getting into all the little grooves and details around all the edges. I don't want any of that white showing. And I think this is so pretty. You could, you could definitely leave your flower pot just like this and be done. Um, you know, but the patina just gives it a little... Well, actually, a lot <laughs> just takes it uh, a big step further and just really ages it and oxidizes it. So once I've got into all those little areas, I'll take a bigger brush and finish it off. Do the front, front sides. And we'll just paint this whole flower pot. I'm not too worried about the inside part. You know, you'll, you'll have some sort of um, faux plant or something in there. I'm not saying you can't do it, but so I had a little piece fall off and I'll fix that. I just again I think this is such a beautiful color so let that dry about 30 minutes and then we're ready to do our patina effects so just showing you a couple different things here the first is um, a set that has all three of the products that you need in it the mint paste 
and um, the patina blue paste and then a brass paste. This mint green is very chalky. It's got a lot of texture in it. And when it dries, it's gonna kinda look like um, concrete. So it's, uh, it's, the, it's out of all three products, it's got the most texture. And I have found I used the most of this one, which is why I showed you the bigger size. I have, an, I have this in an eight ounce as well. So this one is, you're gonna run out of this one quicker than you will the other two. But um, with this little set, I actually had enough of the mint green to do two of these flower pots. So you're just working it into all the grooves all the way around the flower pot. Um, you know, I'm going fast on here because it's not super important how you do it. Um, you know, I, I like to make sure most of it's covered. You know, some parts are going to peek through and that's fine. Um, and I'm just trying to work it into all the little grooves as well. All right, so now I'm gonna take the blue. This blue is really creamy. It's a lot different texture than the green. And I'm just dabbing it on randomly. Um, there's no science to this. You're just kind of putting it on in random places and in a lot fewer places than you did the, the green one. So it's supposed to be sort of a vintage -y layered look. And you could keep going with this, you know, you could do a lot more than I did. You could do less than I did. It's your project, you know, you can do what you want. Um, I would love to see your projects. I'm on Instagram at THDecorATL. So if you do one of these videos and you follow along and you like it, I would love to see your project. Just tag me in it. All right, so now I'm adding some more green um, over some of the blue to help blend it in a little bit better. And it's just, like I said, you're going to give it a, a very layered, crusty appearance. It needs to look like it's been sitting in your backyard for 10 years. So just a super fun look to achieve and, you know, really good results in a short amount of time. So I'm just blending it out a little bit now. All right, so now I'm going to take my brass, and for this I'm using a paintbrush. And um, the just going over the mold really to try to define those details again. So you can see the image of the cherub is now starting to resurface. And so I've got the swag going, just a super super cute design and so I'm just going over the whole um, mold section you know leaving some of the patina showing through as well just to make those details pop okay so when I'm done with that I'm gonna let that dry for a minute um, add it to some other spots as well and then I'm I'm gonna buff it out and go over it again, just so I can really hit some of the, um, the metallic. 
So this is different. This product is different from the paint that I used earlier. All right, so now again, I'm just kind of wiping away some of the excess, buffing it out. And I will hit some highlights one more time. And then we'll just call this one done. But look how pretty it's come out. And it didn't take that long to do. So just defining some of those little spots again, especially his little face. So thank you for watching. I like to do these videos um, once a week and um, you know we'll do something a little bit different every time so we'll do decoupage we'll do some fun stuff with molds and transfers um, we also paint furniture so maybe we'll do a furniture project so I know we're all kind of stuck at home right now so this is just a a fun distraction and a way to do something creative with our time so we appreciate you tuning in and please hit subscribe if you like our projects thank you